All right. Johnson & Johnson confirms opioid business has ended in a $230 million settlement with New York. So basically, they legalized drug dealers. Opioids are pretty similar to heroin. And these guys, nobody goes to prison. Now, if you were on a corner and you were selling drugs and someone OD'd, you'd go to prison for murder. These guys are selling drugs across the whole country. Not on a corner, the whole country. And they get a fine. And they also, um, let's see, uh, New York Attorney General's office said the agreement banned, oh, they, oh, and they also get banned. It's like, it's like you say, hey, um, I know you've been selling heroin and people have died from it, but, uh, pay this fine and promise that you won't sell drugs anymore and you can go home. It, it doesn't work that way. Not with everyday people. But with these corporations, it's like they have just immunity to do whatever they want to do. Well, it's not like they, they do have immunity to do what they want to do. Um, promoting opioids through any means and prohibits lobbying. Oh, and they can't lobby. Okay. So they can't send their lobbyists in there to go behind the closed doors with Congress and negotiate more ways to kill people. Oh, huh, that's nice. That's nice to know. Um, oh, and then, um, but Johnson and Johnson, well, they, they were involved in a lawsuit. So I guess it was, they, they had already exited the business. I guess that made sense. You know, if, if you're on trial for selling drugs, I think it would be, uh, smart to stop selling drugs, right? Yeah. That, I mean, so they're acting like, like that was something that, like it was a good thing. I mean, you're on trial for selling drugs. I think, think it'd be wise to stop, you know? And then they say, um, oh, well, this, this has killed nearly 500,000 people since 99. Now, a street level guy, he kills one person. He's gone for life. So who's, who ordered this? Who, there's some, there's somebody, is there a CEO? Who, 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 who ordered this to be able to be done? Somebody, somebody has to have been able to, 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 to be over this, this operate, this illegal operation. Because in another article, they said, I believe it was over here, and they said they, that they were charged with also with, um, with some type of, uh, look at this. They were charged, um, for committing insurance fraud as well by promoting addictive painkillers. Okay. Let me come back over here. And I want to show you that, um, let me see. That, look at this. Look at this. The New York OPA lawsuit trial against the rest of the defendants will begin this week, according to the release. Other defendants in New York, in the New York uh, suit, include per Purdue Pharma, whatever this is, Melon, whatever, uh, LLC. Look at this. Indo Health Teva Pharmaceuticals, USA. And uh, now, if this, if this was now, this is in New York. Now, they would call this in New York, if this was just regular, they would call this a crime family. And all of these would be different crime families. And instead of getting a fine, they'd be charged with this. RICO, the Racketeering Invest and, Cor and Corrupt Organization Act, which is a heavier fine because it's, it's, an, it's an, uh, a corrupt organization, which, which that's what this is. It's just a corrupt organization. I just showed you that they were involved with fraud. Not only fraud, but murder. People have been ODing off of this. And you would think, why, why, why isn't Congress doing anything about this? Well, well, because Congress, you take a lot of bribes and it, that's, that's why they prohibit them from uh, lobbying. Now, when I showed you that, they prohibit them from lobbying because Congress takes bribes from these pharmaceutical companies and Wall Street and the military industrial complex. That's why they like dropping bombs. And, Nobody does anything. And these people, they just, they just say, hey, no problem. No problem. And you know what? And, and you look at, you look at all of these, you look at, like, you look at all of these progressive media, they don't cover this stuff. They cover, they cover nonsense. They cover stupidity. The real stuff that's going on, people, poor people that are dying and ODing off of, off of corporate, off of corporate greed is not being covered. It's not being covered. It is not being covered, you know, and it's, and it's sad, but 
I don't know. Another, another day in the life of uh, the everyday American who's suffering at the hands of these greedy corporate lunatics. Have a nice day.